Hi, I'm Pooja Patar, a fitness coach specializing in women's health and fitness, especially perimenopause and menopause women. And today I'm going to talk about how you can stay fit when you're working from home. Hi, so let's just start with waking up. You know, waking up on same time of the day is so crucial to setting the tone for the day. So set your time like that you wake up early every time you go for morning walk and then you get that morning sunlight and always start your day with a protein shake or a very healthy breakfast. So this is going to keep your mind fresh and you are ready to take the day on. Preparing for your meals for the day is so important. At least you know what you want to put inside your body. So it's always a good idea to prepare for your meals for maybe for a day or for two, three days. So your body already knows that what it's going to feed, how about you want to feed your body, right? So the, I would recommend that you always have healthy snacks, healthy food at home store so that you're not tempted to eat anything from the packet. So grab a fruit or grab something like sprouts instead of just going for a packet of chips. It's going to keep you active. It's going to keep you healthy in a way that you're going to eat only. Obviously, you're going to eat only things you have at home. So you better not store junk at home. So that's the second way to stay healthy in staying indoors. Also, when you're talking about eating, drinking, hydrating, so how do you differentiate what you should eat more or what you should eat less? Now, according to all the studies and research, it is that if you prioritize your protein intake, you are not going to binge eat on anything else, you know. So prioritize your protein. You can have it through your meals, but if you think that your meals are not sufficient, you are still having cravings through the day, get the supplements, get the protein supplements and you have them before the meal so and or along with the meal, pair it with your meal. It's going to keep your cravings in check. It's going to keep your body still healthy. It's going to help you in your muscle repair. And uh, protein, carbs and fats. These three, if you are segregating and if you are having all the combination of these three, it's going to keep you full. It's going to keep you satiated. It's going to help you in avoiding the binge eating or craving for certain um, salty, sweet, um, kind of food. The last thing that I would say about food is enjoy your meals, eat guilt free and do not feel guilty of eating your favorite food. It's not the end of the world. Okay, Eat whatever you enjoy but you know that it is the portion which is going to make the difference. The total calories that you're taking in the day and over the week is important. Just one meal is never going to spoil your health benefit or it's not going to give you fat gain, weight gain. And uh, so yeah, enjoy your meals guilt free. Do not add guilt and adding stress to your body by saying, oh, I feel guilty because I had my chocolate, I had my cake. Well, no, enjoy it, but know that you have to control the portion size of that, right? So enjoy your meals, stress free and guilt free. All right, you must have heard the best food for fat loss, the best exercise for fat loss, or you know what? There is none. There is no best food for fat loss. There is no best exercise for fat loss. Let me break it down for you. It's only how much your body needs and how much your body is getting. That difference is going to make a difference, right? If you eat more than what your body is burning, you're going to gain weight. If your body is, you're feeding your body more, less than what it needs, it's going to lose the weight, all right? So if you want to stay in your maintenance, eat how much you're eating and just see that if your weight remains constant, then that, that is the ideal food for you. And if you have, if you want to get that toned body and, uh, you know, have that muscular look to your body, the dense look, then go lift weights, okay? And yeah, that's it. I would just add one more thing that as we all are like through the pandemic, most of us are staying home. We are with so much of stress, you know, always stressing over the situation uh, 
you know, being so dynamic outside, um, get your regular health checkups done. That is so, so important. And um, find a hobby, you know, where what you enjoy doing, where you are, you know, your mental uh, stress just goes away. Say, suppose you like to paint, you like to run. When you're doing that, you're, you're completely into that activity. So find that activity which just gets you involved into it. It's going to keep your stress under control. So yeah, get the health checkup done, get, find an activity that's going to keep you mentally occupied. So these things will keep you healthy in a way that, um, yeah, you, your stress will be under control. So your body is going to feel a little relaxed and you're going to feel better.